Marcus Akin Lana. I'm from New Orleans. I was raised mostly in Washington, D.C., but also partially in New Orleans. And I also did many years in the city of Chicago. This particular public art installation is going to be installed in the West Pullman Library on the far south side of Chicago, uh, which is a recently built beautiful library for the public Chicago Public Library System, which is one of the great library systems of the country. As a result, the theme is a uh, split theme and is the brainstorm of uh, members there of the Chicago community and the Chicago Public Library and residents of the Pullman area and uh, of myself, the artist. The theme is using Illinois writers, stories and characters as an inspiration point to celebrate the legacy that, one of the legacies that the library gives, uh, which is the joy of reading and the adventure of reading, the ultimate drama of reading, with an additional theme of exposing visitors to the library to some of the other wonders of the library other than the obvious one of reading. So the piece kind of uh, walks you through both the Pullman Library and also has icons that reflect the history of West Pullman, which was part of uh, very close to the model town built by the railroad magnate George Pullman. Color schemes in this mural, which you can see the layers of colors being built up now as I'm in the studio. I'm about, oh, 60% complete on this project at this point. And the layers of colors are being built up uh, colors over top of colors over top of colors. I use complementary colors over top of each other to create a vibrating effect to give life to the painting, which is a technique uh, that, as far as, I, uh, as far as my career, was developed with uh, Chicago muralists back in the 80s. People like Olivia Goody and I discussed this theory of uh, using complementary colors to create a vibratory effect. These colors and the color scheme, of course, are integrated with the existing color screen designed by the architects who designed the Chicago Public Library, Larry Parkman Architects, etc. There are several great Illinois authors who inspired this work. For instance, this scene right here. This is inspired by Eleanor Taylor Bland's character, Marty McAllister. She has at the time I designed the mural, 12 Marty McAllister books set in a suburb, Marty McAllister being a detective set in a suburb just north of uh, the city of Chicago. The scene right next to it is inspired by Charles Johnson's classic book, The Middle Passage. And uh, that's uh, inspired by the character Rutherford Calhoun, who was uh, roused about and a young man who was a cad from Illinois who came to New Orleans and found himself in a world of trouble, which ended up resulting in him stowing away on a slave ship. When you arrive at the West Pullman Library, we're gonna have these art images high above your head in the clear story, and then down below are going to be excerpts from these books. This scene is inspired by Sandra Cisneros, who is a Illinois author, and uh, from a book she had with short stories called Woman Hollering Creek. And this one, after I read one of those short stories called Arturito. Uh, well, they had a character in the book called Arturito. This inspired this particular image. This is a scene from the late great Richard Wright's, one of his greatest classic novels, Native Son, which was uh, not only uh, a very good read, uh, and that's putting it mildly, of course, but it was very uh, elucidating work. It was a very elucidating work about race relations, racial tension, and it was a deep uh, psychoanalytic look into the heart of a whole class of people, which would be uh, the black, poor, and working class, and black, poor, and young, working class men at the time that Richard Wright wrote this book and of course the earlier part 
of the previous century. So this is the famous character Bigger from Native Son. And there was a scene where he got a job working for a wealthy philanthropist family driving their car, okay, which was a very fine vehicle. And this is that scene. Two desired goals for this public art project off the top of my head. The first is to inspire people to read uh, and join, jump into the great drama created by these Illinois authors. Specifically, I would like them to read uh, April Sinclair's book, I Left My Back Door Open, Charles Johnson's book, The Middle Passage, Richard Wright's book's Native Son, Sandra Jackson Opoko's poetry, and I would like them to read uh, Sandra Cisneros' book, Woman Hollering Creek. These are great works of literature. The second goal is for them to get a better understanding of the evolution of the library and the role it plays in the community. So, for instance, there's a sculptural aspect of this piece. This particular monitor is going to be painted and created into a sculptural installation with this image, which has an African head in it, and inside of that African head is a burning ball of fire with the incinity symbol. You have here your Pullman sleeping cars. Of course, George Pullman was the railroad magnate responsible for the development of the Pullman Sleeping Car Company and also the, modern the model town which later became incorporated into the city of Chicago, which was Pullman, and the library is in West Pullman, just west of the original town of uh, Pullman. This particular piece here is inspired by the book, I Left My Back Door Open, which is one of the books on the list that developed this piece by this DJ who was a Chicago blues DJ who uh, played her blues throughout the city of Chicago. And of course, you know, blues is integral to the history of the Windy City.